We're going to try and make beef jerky today. We're a little nervous because um, there's a high potential for meat spoilage in a humid climate. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to do it. We're going to hang the meat indoors. Yeah. But first, we have to which chop is also it weird. Accordion style. We've already set up some meat hangers that we're going to see later on. Right now, David is just trimming off the ends of the meat so it becomes flat on all sides. I thought I was being clever and I froze the meat a, a bit so it would like um, be easier to cut, but I think I froze it too much. <laughs> not bad, I think it's working. Okay, uh, so right now David is cutting it in one eighth of an inch thick in accordion slices. Um, so now I guess you have to stop and then open it up. So David's made a bit of headway. Yeah. He's cutting it in an accordion style. He has to go through the entire block of meat. So this is our beef ball. Yeah, it's all one big long piece now. <laughs> so it's been in parts, but it made it. <laughs> so now we have to unroll it, and then we're going to rub both sides of the mixture of lime juice and ancho and salt. Don't you, don't you rock on, don't you rock on Apparently the drying process can take several days, depending on the humidity and also just like how long you have Yeah, how long you want to wait. Yeah. How long you want to wait. I think two days minimum, right? Yeah. So now we are folding it back up so that it can just sit and marinate all together for half an hour before we start hanging it. I'm thinking that our neighbors are going to think that we're going to, um, I don't know, some kind of like serial killers if we're hanging all this meat in the window. Hopefully nobody calls the cops on us. Now we're hanging the beef jerky that has marinated in itself. It already looks kind of cooked in yeah. some ways. <laughs> dripping. We put up the parchment paper. Now we are going to leave it alone for a few days. We'll probably flip it over and check on it. Yeah. We'll get curious. But other than that, we're going to not touch it and not. Unless it's smelling yeah. weird. <laughs> <laughs> so our beef jerky has been hanging for about a day and a half now. And it's already like really dry. So now, after 48 hours, our beef jerky is all dried out and we're taking it down. Is it hard to get off? It's definitely dry. <laughs> yeah, it kind of stays in that big that circle. Like close pins or something. It's all curled up. Let's see how dry it is. Looks like beef jerky. Let's hope it feels like, like beef, beef jerky. jerky. It must be beef jerky! <laughs> yeah, that's beef. Oh, this part, the real thin part is really dry. Yeah, nice and fibery. <laughs> it's still white hay, it almost looks like it's stuffed with cotton or something. That's how beef jerky always looks though. It's good. I bet we could play with the flavorings too and try lots of different ways of doing it. Yeah. And it's, even though our house is pretty humid, it still works. So I'd say this is a, an, an unequivocal success. Yeah. For so first time jerky makers with zero smoke involved and, and a lot of depth. You don't need any equipment. <laughs> you don't need anything. No, I would say it worked out really well and I would definitely do it over and over again for the rest of our lives. We're gonna <laughs> Be jerky artisans, look for it. <laughs>